Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm sorry about the quality of this video. I am recording this with my phone. I am recording this in my garage. I know it's messy in here. Uh, it's not messy because of me, but... Um, I'm not recording this in my room right now because my fiance is sleeping and I just want to make this video as soon as possible. So about two months ago, I ordered a controller from Cinch Gaming. And it finally came in uh, two months later. There was a really long delay on my controller because of COVID-19. And um, they sent me... Um, they didn't send me what I ordered, and uh, I am pretty disappointed about that. Um, I ordered my thumbsticks to be both default, and they sent me one uh, regular on the left, and on the right side, um, it's interchangeable. And even though that one's still taller than the left one, the right one is still taller than the left, that's the smallest size um, they have for the interchangeable thumbsticks that it comes with. It comes with two other um, thumbsticks, and they're both taller than that. And it throws me off really bad. I've already tried to play a few games with it, and my aim's ass. Um, back in the day, back in the 360 era, I used to play with a Control Freak. And, um, I mean, I could probably get used to this, but the one thing that sucks about getting used to this is if something were to go wrong and my cinch were to go bad on me, I wouldn't be able to use a regular controller to hold me over until, I was, until a new one came in. I'd have to wait because... Um, it would throw me off if I got used to this and went back to trying to use a, a default stick, if that makes any sense. Because um, the reason why I stopped using Control Freaks is because I got so sick of whenever um, my Control Freak would go bad on me. Um, always having to buy a new one and not being able to use a regular controller to hold me over until I was able to buy a new one. Because um, I wear my thumbsticks out, my hands sweat really bad, and uh, yeah, some gamers don't have to deal with that, but I do. So this is a problem to me, and I would like my regular thumbsticks. Um, the buttons in the back are cool and all. I was testing those out, and I definitely feel the advantage for sure, because, I mean, it really is only useful to me, though, in close quarter combat, because uh, first game on with this controller, I dropped Superstore, and... Um, I was able to jump shot while keeping without taking my thumb off the thumbstick and I definitely felt like at a huge advantage like that advantage like when you use paddles or buttons in the back and you're jump shotting drop shotting without having to take your thumb off the thumbstick and you're still staying on target I definitely felt that advantage but what I didn't where I was at a disadvantage is because the thumb of the, the thumbstick is higher than what I'm used to at when I'm trying to take on people at longer ranges I'm missing my shots, so it's that's my predicament right now. So um, what I'm going to try to do is hopefully it doesn't fuck with the buttons in the back, but I'm going to go to a hardware store and buy the screwdriver and take the back plate off, and hopefully I can switch out the thumbsticks. Hopefully that's a fix. Um, if you guys have any suggestions down in the comment section, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.